Okay, first one, uh, educate them on it and create a proper mindset. Yeah, because we want them to understand, okay? Information being power, plus they're going to evaluate themselves by what they know. Most people know a pitiful amount about sudden traumatic loss, and they will be c comparing themselves to individuals who've had a, a, a time to prepare, to be possibly even be with the person, to say their goodbyes and so forth. They're not going to be prepared necessarily for what they encounter. So we have to set appropriate expectations. Um, during the uh, COVID pandemic, Ken Doker and I, the first time for both of us got on YouTube, and you can tell it's not the greatest production, but the content is fabulous. Um, we did a three-part YouTube video series for mourners. Now you might say, yeah, but my person's not a COVID person. So much of it is for everyone, not just for anyone with sudden traumatic um, loss. So that might be useful to some of your folks. Um, and and the um, the link, uh, the information for the link is in the uh, bibliography. They need to identify themselves as a generalized, genuinely traumatized person. Uh, they need to understand that they need to be in emotional intensive care unit for a while. Um, they don't get this necessarily. They understand that they're grieving. They don't understand. And so many people said, traumatized? I, ne I never even considered that. Post-traumatic stress? So they don't uh, necessarily understand that or the realities where we have to help them understand impacts and reactions and how these combine with whatever circumstance they're dealing with to... Um, to impact them and, and give them a permission to mourn that which they're going through. Now, we also have to remember for them, as well as for ourselves, that other issues get created or exacerbated because they were going on anyway or triggered even if they were in the past. And don't forget these. Cannot tell you how many times in my career that dealing with the death of a loved one has brought up unfinished business around uh, early childhood abuse. Um, and sometimes it can be dealt with in, in what I'm dealing with now. Sometimes we need to stop and do that work. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be different depending upon the impacts on the person. Um, but previous losses and trauma, substance abuse, mental illness, uh, psychological symptoms, these things have to be accounted for. The grief doesn't occur in a vacuum. 